Are you crazy? Because I know I am, and this is Card Fight Crazy. And in this video, three boxes of the Awakening Zoo. Uh, so for the first box, I'll go through every card like I normally do. Then on the second and third, I will go over the new ones. Whatever we see. Wow, I really just want to get in this. Don't want to talk about it. <laughs> uh, newest set in these 12 packs. Seven uh, cards each to ours in the back or above. We do have uh, Zero the Dragon of Death Garden Zoa. That's the ZR. Uh, was it two per case? Uh, Blue Asha. Don't remember her uh, precursor. Uh, we got Gridora and the new Big Belly. Yeah, I don't remember any of their full names. <laughs> Total of 76 types possible here. The three clans, Neo Nectar, Mega Colony, and Great Nature, specifically for the Zoo Nation. This is G Extra Booster 02. Weird to see them return to an extra booster out of nowhere. I mean, it basically fits like a technical booster, but yet they decided to call it. Eh, come on, can I get this? Yeah, almost. Alright, a little look at it on display. Reset here. An advertisement as a box topper, not as good as cards. Uh, GZ, new animation episodes every weekend. Yeah, oh well. Uh, Dragoborn. The. Is that Bank Dream? I do not know. And Buddy Fight, so I'm guessing that's for Vice? <laughs> eh, bang Dream? I don't. Yeah, Bang Dream, probably. Girls Band Party. Download on the App Store. Oh, for sure again. Oh well, whatever. Got some sleeves set aside. Let's just get into these packs. That's what the important part is. All right, quick look at this. I do like the packaging on here. Zoa, the zoo. Love the stylized and the O's. On the back, no unit. Just some more. Green, black, yellows, and the colors. No advertisement in the pack. Yeah, no. Alright. And the first card, Cyclamen Musketeer Favila. When your other unit with Musketeer and its card name is placed on rear guard, choose one of your rear guards with Musketeer and its card name. Other than that other than this unit, until end of turn, that unit and this unit get plus six K and continuous resist. Once per turn, rear guard GB1, grade two nine K. Mega Colony, Outstanding Mutant, Promularva, uh, Auto, Forerunner, Counterblast 1 and put this unit into your soul. At the beginning of your ride phase, you may pay the cost of you. Draw a card and rest all of your opponent's units. Okay. Ah, Great Nature, Success Unit. When this unit boosts, you may pay... Uh, you may have this unit get plus 4k until end of battle. If you do, until end of turn, this unit gets... Auto from rear guard at the end of the your turn. Retire this unit if you have a face-up card in your G-zone. And this card is retired. While successful, draw a card. Counter charge 1. Success of 20k. Machining Tree Hopper. Great critical trigger. Uh, GB1. Return it to the deck. Choose one of your opponent's rear guards and stun it. Uh, Machining Killer Ant. A generic critical trigger. Cumulative Maiden Purcell is the first single R. Bloom, uh, Vanguard or Rearguard, once per turn, Counterblast 1, when the other unit with the same card name as this unit is placed on Rearguard, you may pay the cost. If you do, draw a card, and if you have a Grade 4 Vanguard, this unit gains plus 8k until end of turn. Okay, oh, yeah. not bad. Double R, Lantana Musketeer, Rosette, Rosita. The Stride Breaker for Musketeers. When your G unit with Musketeer and its original card name Stride, look at four cards on top of your deck, call it to one with Musketeer and its card name from among them to rear guard, shuffle. 
Continuous Vanguard GB1, you may pay Counterblast 1 to choose two normal units with Musketeer and its current name from your drop zone. Put them on the bottom of your deck in any order, as the cost for stride of your G unit with Musketeer in its card name. Alright, that's the first one, and I'll get the purple sleeve. Alright, uh, that is not so bad. Camera a little closer than normal, and lower. It actually blocks my view from being able to read the cards super easily. <laughs> Ooh, Grade 1 Neonactor 6K Dragon Seed Spitter. I like that artwork. Uh, act once per turn. Cannibalist 1, choose one of your vanguards, and this unit gains the card name of that card until end of turn. If the number of other units the same card name as your vanguard is 3 or more, this unit gets plus 5k until end of turn. Okay. Uh, Stokesia Musketeer, Daphne. Uh, Stride Fodder for Musketeers. If you have a Vanguard of Musketeer in its card name, this card may be discarded as a grade 3 while paying for the cost of Stride. That's different than the wording on the other ones. Uh, I don't know when they made that change. Counterblast 1 when this card is discarded from the hand for the cost of Stride. If you have a Vanguard of Musketeer in its original card name, you may pay the cost. You do look at four cards on the top of your deck, call it the one with Musketeer. From among them, but it's a rear guard and shuffle your deck. Trickle British, good card. Good card, great two nine k, great nature. Once per turn, when this unit is chosen for the effect of your vanguard with honorary professor in its card name, until end of turn, this unit gets plus four k. And when this unit is retired from rear guard during your end phase, choose up the one card with honorary professor from your drop zone and return it to your hand. Bad luck star. Uh, Soul Blast 1, when this unit is placed on rigor from hand, if the number of your opponent's rest units is 3 or more, you pay the cost you do. Draw a card. Cersei Musketeer, Umbra, wrong Musketeer, critical trigger pack. Ah, there we go. Very good G-Guard. Bond Protector Musketeer on Tero. Uh, Soul Blast 1, when this unit is placed on Guardian Circle, you may pay the cost. If you do, until end of battle, this unit gets plus 5k. Then if the number of your rear guards is 1 or less, or 4 or more, gains 15k. Very good card. We got a stride unit. A single R, a Master Swordsman Mutant Deity. Anguish Sword. Okay, Mega Colony, stride. Dark Device, once per turn. Counterblast 1, choose up the same number of your units as the number of your opponent's rest units, and then get plus 4k until end of turn. If you choose 3 or more cards, draw a card, and counter charge 1. Okay, not so bad. Uh, kind of... It's a little bit different than, uh, I can't remember his name right now. When you stride it, rest all your opponent's units. Gain 5k and draw one if three or more are rest. Erend Somali. A starter for great nature. Forerunner. And put this unit into your soul when your unit with Honorary Professor and its card name is placed on Vanguard. You may pay the cost you do. Choose a card with Honorary Professor and its card name from your drop zone or soul and return it to your hand. That's nice. Getting him back from the drop zone, that's really nice. Ah, grade three for Neonectar, Poinsettia Flower Maiden Grinnell. I'm not, I'm, well, I'm kind of surprised it's not Poinsettia Flower Flower Maiden. Ah, Bloom, Vanguard or Rearguard, once per turn, GB1, when your other unit with the same card name as this unit is placed on Rearguard during your turn until end of turn, this unit gets plus 10k, and if this unit is on Vanguard, it gains critical. Ah, Machining Leafy, also a good stride fodder. And if you have a Vanguard with Machining card name, this card can be discarded as a grade 3. And Soul Blast 1, when this card is discarded from the hand for the cost of stride of your G unit with Machining in its original card name, you may pay the cost of you choose one of your opponent's rear guards and that unit cannot stand. Uh, during your opponent's next stand phase. Not that. Uh, Counterblast 1, and put this unit into your soul. When your other rear guard is retired during end phase, you may pay the cost to do draw a card. That's Essayist Yapoon, stand trigger for great nature. There it is. Marigold, Musketeer, Rachel, Vanguard or rear guard or drop zone. GB1, this card may be regarded as a normal unit instead of a trigger unit. So with Elizabeth, you can end up returning five triggers. Four crits and stand. It's perfect. Ah, good card. The 10k for Mega Colony, Dark Face specifically. Uh, when this unit is placed on Vanguard or Rearguard, choose a card from your hand and you may reveal it. If neither that card nor your Vanguard is a card with Dark Face, it gets minus 5k until end of turn. If you have a grade 4 Vanguard with Dark Face and its card name, none of your opponent's Rearguard's uh, standing is 1 or less. This unit gains plus 6k. 16k attacker. 
good. Double R. Great nature. Super honorary professor Melior Chatnoir. Look at that artwork. Bring that back here because I put it over away. That's, that's some good artwork. Shad Noir. Okay, GB2. Counterblast 1 and choose 3 cards in your hand and discard them. At the end of the battle that this unit attacked, if you have a heart card with Honorary Professor in its card name, you may pay the cost. So you do put this unit into your G-Zone face-up. Choose it's 1 grade 3 with Honorary Prof from your hand. Write it as stand. If you rode, choose all your rearguards. So they get plus 4k until end of turn. At the end of the turn, retire them. Great card with the new support. Starts off a 2 stride turn. With the break ride skill, discarding three cards. Okay, for that, it's it's magnificent turn. Great card. Cyclamen Musketeer uh, Favila, Aaron Somali, Machining Leafy, Essay is Diapun, Marigold Musketeer Rachel. Ah, repeated cultivation made in Leslie, grade one. I do like this card. It's not perfect, but it's good. Bloom, rear guard, once per turn. When your other unit with the same card name as this unit is placed on rear guard, you may soul charge one. And soul blast two and retire this unit. At the end of the battle, this unit boosted a unit with a bloom ability. It's GB1, mind that. You may pay the cost you do. Search your deck for up to one card with the same card name as the boosted unit. Call it to rear guard and shuffle your deck. Call it anywhere on rear guard. Yeah, it's, it's great. Oh! Whoa, man! Custy's gonna be super happy. He bought the great nature from me, all right. All right, he just helped me. Oh, man. Revision Scientist Della Belly. Well, I don't think there's gonna be anything super special in these other two boxes now, but. Oh, man. That's just great to see. You know, honestly, I'm happy because uh, normally when we buy a bunch of. When we go in on boxes together, it always seems like Custy gets just the crap. <laughs> like Jacob or Tom and I, just, just, we do great. Jacob and I generally, we do great. And then Custy gets crap. Alright, well, let's say, so it's a Sentinel, you know, I gotta keep it out of sleep for just a little bit more. I gotta show it off. It's fantastic. I love the artwork, full art, because SP. Of course, it's a sentinel. Choose a card from your and discard it when this unit is placed on Guardian Circle from hand. You may pay the cost to do. Choose one of your units, and it cannot be hit until end of that battle. GB1, Soul Blast 1, when this unit is retired from rear guard or Guardian Circle. If you have a Vanguard with Big Belly in its card name, you may pay the cost. Draw up to one card and counter charge one. I have pulled three SP cards uh, in total, and three SP cards on this channel. Uh, I might have pulled another one that I wasn't recording, but... I know that I pulled three on this channel. Two of them are PGs, and both of them come from Zoo Nations. One Great Nature and one Lizbeth. I still have that. Not Lizbeth, wow. One of the Bloom PG that uh, allows you to bring it back to hand. I can't remember her name now. I had that. Uh, the other SP pulled was Basaltus Messiah. Sold that. Dragon Seed Spitter, Kaluna Musketeer, Elma, so close to Elmi. Floor Runner, GB1, Counterblast 1, put the shooting on the bottom of your deck. When you have a Vanguard with Musketeer, when your Vanguard with Musketeer and its card name attacks, you may pay the cost. Do look at four cards on the top of your deck. Call up to one with Musketeer. I'm sorry about that. From uh, Two rear guard from among them. It gets plus 4k until end of turn. Shuffle your deck. Mm. Just so excited about that SP. The Thargy Mutant Silk Sleeper Mega Colony Grade 3. I don't know what is going on out there. Uh, Vanguard Rearguard GB1 while your opponent's unit is the same column as this unit. Cannot stand during your opponent's next stand phase. Only one card from among them can stand. Okay, okay. <laughs> when you place it in a column, whatever units are in there, only one of them can stand. Yeah, okay, so whatever whatever column it's into, or it's it's on, only one of your opponent's rear guards can stand within that column. Okay, simple enough. Machining Bagworm. Nice board runner. Uh, rear guard, if you have a Vanguard with machining in its card name, this unit gets, once per turn, rest this unit. The number of your opponent's stand units is zero, so charge one. And if it's not, choose one of your opponent's rear guards and rest it. You can do that immediately. 
Uh, put this unit in your soul, choose one of your rear guards and shooting its card name, and stand it. Once again, you can also do that immediately. Not GB restricted at all. Part-time researcher Iguano, a draw trigger for great nature. Flowing mutant twilight matter. I really love this artwork. Uh, dark device. When this unit boosts, if you have a great... Four Vanguard with Dark Face in its card name. You may have this unit get plus 3k until the end of the battle. If you do at the end of the battle, draw a card, move it into the soul. I like it. It's like a Jeffrey. Uh, that's our rare. And next up, another rare. Ah, machining. It's hard to grade, though. Choose a card from your hand and discard it. When this unit is placed on Guardian Circle from hand, you can pay the cost of you. Choose one of your units with Sheen against card name, and it cannot be hit until the end of battle. When this unit is retired from Guardian Circle, you may soul charge one. Ooh. Hit the camera. Checking, yeah, I, I did put one of the rares away. I'm going to keep doing that because there's two in each pack. I'm just still surprised about that SP. I love pulling SP anything. I mean, I, of course, I have favorites. I want to pull Overwhelm. That's what I'm shooting for here. We are shooting for Overwhelm. And I want this. I want these boxes to overwhelm me with how great their pulls are. Black Rose Musketeer Vernerdy. Uh, GB1, if you have a Vanguard with Musketeer in its card name, this unit gets plus 1k for each of your other units with Musketeer in its card name. Simple. Simple stuff. Alright. Animal Clip Lesser, a grade 1 success for grade nature. Success of 20k. And when this unit boosts... Uh, oh yeah, we already went over that. Get back down. Machining Princess. Keep talking about great cards. Machining Princess is a great card. Act... Rear guard, rest this unit. Choose one of your units with machining its card name, and it gets plus 3k until end of turn. Then, once per turn, GB2, count of lost one, stand this unit, and until end of turn, it gets, once per turn, at the end of the battle of this unit, attack the vanguard. If the number of your opponent's rest units, standing units, is zero, choose one of your other rear guards with machining its card name, and stand it. Approval frigate, critical trigger, Margo clone for great nature. Pearl Wilt Chihuahua, Critical Trigger, so awesome, great nature, artwork. Alright, Rare Boot Camp Simlick, a grade 2 for great nature. Hmm. Oh, it's an honorary professor card. When this unit is placed on rear guard, if you have a Vanguard with honorary prof, in its card name, you pay the cost. Nope. I'm just so used to saying you may pay the cost, but no. It's you may have this unit gets plus 4k until end of turn. If you do at the end of turn, retire it. Drop zone, CB1. When your unit with honorary profits card name is placed by writing for over a grade 3, you may pay the cost to do return this card to your hand. Huh. So you can pump it up, knowing that it's already going to retire. You can put draws on it if you want, and then when it hits the drop zone, it's got a way to come back if you got the counterplast. Hmm. Intriguing. Next up, Double R, Machining Beat Atlas. Nice. Stride Breaker for Machinings. Good card. I'm going to keep saying that. I say that in like all the videos, but that's because I'm not too fussy. I like cards. That's why I play Vanguard. Counterblast 1 when you're G-Doing with Machining in its card, original card name, Stride. You may pay the cost you do. Choose up to 1, Grade 1 or Greater from your soul. Hmm. <clears throat> Choose up to two grade one or greater cards from your soul that have machining in their card name. Call them to separate rear guards at rest. There you go. And then with machinings, it's got a ton of ways to stand its units, rest your opponent's units, stun your opponent's units, stand its own units again, rest its own unit, then stand it again. And we have, very important, GB2. At the end of your turn, end of your turn, choose up to two cards in your turn in total, with machining and their card name from your rear guard and hand, put them into your soul. If you put one or more cards, draw a card, and if you put two cards, counter charge one. So it's very nice. Whoops, <laughs> grab a sleeve for it. Uh, that sleeve's beat up. Some muck on the front. There we go. So that's another double R. And an SP, but not a single triple R yet. And there's some good triple R's to get, and that's that's a very good double R to get. I'm happy to see Machining Beat Atlas. Like I said, open for overwhelm. I think because we got the SP, can't get overwhelm in this box. I <laughs> don't know. And 20 minutes. This is gonna take forever. Adorable Balinese, and yep, yep, it's adorable. 
Rest this unit if you Vanguard with Honorary Prof, choose one of your other rear guards, it gets plus 4k until end of turn. At the end of the turn, counter charge one, retire that unit. Talented Rhinos. I only see. Oh no, no, no. Well, I really only see one talented Rhino, and then there's another Rhino over there. But... Alright, success of 20k. Continuous rear guard GB1. If this unit is successful, this unit gets plus 4k, and your opponent cannot call grade 0 cards a 2 Guardian Circle from hand for the battle of this unit attacked. Uh, it's a grade 3, though. Oh, I didn't notice that. Matrix Code Zebra, a grade 2, 8k. GB1, with this unit is placed on rear guard. Look at the top card of your deck. You may call that card to rear guard. If you call the unit with a success ability, increase this unit's power by the original power of that card until end of turn. Shuffle your deck. Huh. Not bad. Not incredible, but not bad. Could definitely be useful. Uh, stand Trigger for Mega Colony. Move it to Soul. Counter Charge 1. Machining Battler G. Machining Bizarreness. Okay, draw a trigger. Yeah, that's pretty bizarre. A rare Immortality Professor Varegia. Okay. That is a creepy ass bunny. Relax. It says no danger over here, too. Yeah. Success of 25k. And when this unit becomes successful, choose it to five of your rearguards until in turn, then get continuous resist. And at the end of your turn, retire this unit. If you chose the remark, draw a card. Next up, single R, Diligent Assistant Mini Belly. This is the reprint of the Stride Fodder for Mini Belly. Yep, or for Big Belly. And. While you're paying for the cost of stride, it gets grade plus two, so they didn't bother to change that text, but they flip it around. She's a grade three card from your hand and re reveal it. When the stream is placed on rear guard, search your deck for up to a big belly. Reveal it, add it to your hand, discard. Any card from your hand. Okay. Stationary Hero. Great nature starter, forerunner, and counterblast one and rest this unit. Choose your new regards with accessibility. It gets plus 4k at the end of the turn. Retire that unit. GB1, put this unit in your soul. If you have a successful unit, draw a card. Outstanding mutant, promularva, trickle British, uh, machine and killer ant, Cercium, Cercium musketeer umbra, sacred tree dragon, breakwater dragon. Neo Nectar. When this unit is put into your G zone from Vanguard Circle, choose any number of normal units with different card names from your rear guard and drop zone. Return them to your deck. Shuffle your deck. If you return five or more units, draw cards, soul charge one, counter charge one. Okay. And Triple R. Finally, Collective Blooming Maiden Kara. Very happy to get Kara. Continuous rear guard if you Vanguard with Ranunculus and its card name or the Bloom ability. This unit gets plus 1k and resist. Not GB restricted. Bloom, which is GB restricted, and once per turn, when the other unit with the same card name as this unit is placed on rear guard until in turn, this unit gets plus 10k and boost. That is okay. Still a fantastic card. A lot of power, a lot of great things with Velamina. Now you just get a ton of attacks out. Alright, Promotion Maiden Lipset, Bloom, once per turn, when the other unit in the same card name as this unit is placed on rear guard, choose all your units in the same row as this unit, until end of turn, they get plus 4k, and if you have a face-up card in your G-Zone, they get boost. Makes everything in a row get boost. So far, I've been trying out Asha with a grade 2 lineup of everything gets boost, so Kara, Lipset, uh, not, not Green Shut Off, but I can't remember which other one it was. Uh, Forerunner, Aaron Somali, oh uh, yeah, I'm machining Leafy again, Matrix Code Zebra, Peril Wilt, Peril, Peril Wit, <laughs> Peril Wit Chihuahua, I don't know, that's so hard to say, Immortality Professor Sonkalga, a G Guardian, Counterblast 1, when this unit is placed on G Guard, you may pay the cost you do, choose one of your rear guards in that unit. And your Vanguard get plus 4k until end of battle for each of your open circles. Then if the chosen rearguard's power is 20k or greater, draw a card. Very nice. Another single R. Bicolor Baku. Grade 2. 11k. Success. At the end of your turn, if this unit is not successful, choose any one of your choose one of your rearguards, retire it, and put it on the bottom of your deck. Okay. But if it is successful, if 
doesn't matter. That's Vanguard to regard skill. And both of them. Black Rose Musketeer to Vernari. Stationary Hero. Lethargy Mutant Silk Sleeper. Mega Colony Battler G. A Machining Bizarreness. Body Faction Mao. Muscles are the foundation of education. So many exclamation points there. Success, 20k. And once per turn, when this unit boosts until end of turn, this unit gets, when this unit is retired from rearguard during your end phase, draw a card. Then if the retired unit was successful, you can put the card on the bottom of your deck. It's grade 1, 7k. And Maiden, Lily, Musketeer, Captain, Virginal, Cecilia. Nice. Double R. Cecilia coming back in yet another form. Once per turn, counterblast one, and she's a face down card with the same card name as this unit from your G zone. Turn them face up. Choose up to five of your rear guards and retire them. Look at seven cards from the top of your deck. Call up to the same number of cards with Musketeer as the number of cards you retired from among them to separate rear guards, and they get plus 3k until end of turn for each face up card in your G zone with Musketeer. In their card names, shuffle your deck. That was a lot to say, but it's pretty nice. Wipe your board, get a new one, gain power. And possibly more, you know, I mean, then you're going to have a ton of skills going off. Because Musketeers. Poinsettia Flower Maiden Al, Adorable Bellinus. Vulgar Blister. All right, I don't think we went over this. If this unit is your front row... All of your opponent's rear guard in the same column as this unit cannot stand. It's grade 2, 7k. You may pay, choose a vulgar blister from your rear guard and retire it as the cost for stride into a G unit with the dark device ability. Hmm. Machining bathroom. I really don't know if that's worth it. Red Poppy Musketeer Marionetta. Uh, Marionetta. Sansan Mango, Stand Trigger for Neon Nectar, of course, joining Heyo Pineapple, and the other one that I can't remember of these weird, very fruit cards. Uh, GB1, Soul Blast 1, retire this unit, draw a card, choose one card from each of your vanguard and rear guards, increase the chosen's vanguard power by the chosen rear guard's power. Not bad. And Artemisia Musketeer Kiara, a perfect guard for Musketeers. Choose a card from your hand and discard it when this unit is placed on Guardian Circle. You may pay the cost you do. Choose one of your units with Musketeer and its card name and it cannot be hit until the end of that battle. Drop Zone. Bind this card face up. Choose another card from your Drop Zone. Put it on the bottom of your deck. Choose one of your units with Musketeer and its card name. It gets plus 2k. Not anything special, but not, not bad either. Okay, one pack to go in this box. Then on to the next boxes. Planting Maiden Ozu, uh, Forerunner, Starter, and Bloom. Once per turn, when your other unit with the same card name as this unit is placed on Rearguard, this unit gets plus 2k until end of turn. Rearguard, Counterblast 1, put this unit in your soul. When your Grade 1 or Greater card with Bloom ability is placed on Rearguard, you may pay the cost to do draw a card. Promotion Maiden Lyset, or Lyset, a Vulgar Blister, probably Lyset. Red Poppy Musketeer Marinetta. Machining Tree Hopper, Valkyrie of Reclamation Padmini. Stride Fodder for Asha. And Triple R Artistic Ocelot. Great 2. Great Nature. When this unit attacks, choose up to one of your other rearguards. It gets plus 4k until end of turn. At the end of that turn, retire that unit. And GB1, CB1. If you have a Vanguard with Big Belly in its card name, choose one of your other rearguards. It gets plus 4k until end of turn. And at the end of that turn, draw a card, retire that unit. Simple. Effective. Pretty decent card. Not terrible. Alright, that was box one. I'm just going to stack these off to the side and just move on to box two. SP in box one. Oh, man. Yeah, hitting the camera. Oh, my lord. Hit it again. I need a drink, definitely. back here.
Black Rose Musketeer Vernetti. Cyclamon Musketeer Favia. Trickle British. Cercia Musketeer Umbra. SAS Japon. Black Spear Mutin. Bolgwasp. Didn't talk about that. Single R. Uh, GB1 Dark Device. 9k. When this unit is placed on river until end of turn, this unit gets plus 2k. Then if the number of face down cards in your opponent's damage zone is two or more, rest all your opponent's units, and this unit gains plus 5k. And Twilight Matter. Black Rose Musketeer Van Audi. Vulgar Blister. Triple British. Machine and Killer Ant. Cercia Musketeer Umbra, Bootcant Simric, Bootcant, ah, Machining Stormwing, the Machining Heal Trigger, but also the Bind to Heals when it's paid for the cost of G-Guard, Counter Charge 1 or Soul Charge 1. I like these Heal Triggers. I like them a lot. Next pack. Stationary Hero, Dragon Seed Spitter, Vulgar Blister, Approval Frigate, Pearl Witch Chihuahua, Machining Tardy Guard, and Overwhelm! Pulled Overwhelm. That's all I wanted. Oh man, that's what I wanted so bad. I wanted to pull Overwhelm so bad. I did it. Yes! Overwhelm. Like, I wanted to pull Overwhelm more than I wanted to pull anything for Asha. I just, I'm not going to be able to finish Asha. I'm not spending the money on it. I'm actually, I'm going to spend the money on Kingdom Come Deliverance instead, because I want that game. And it would probably cost more than that anyway, but, oh man, I did want to pull Overwhelm, so I could trade it to Jacob. Counterblast 1, and she's a face-down card from your G-Zone. Turn it face up. Draw the same number of cards as the number of your opponent's rested units. Rear guards, sorry. Rested rear guards. I always forget that part. And if the number of your opponent's rested rear guards is one or less, this unit gets a critical plus one and drive plus one. So at the very bare minimum, where they don't have anything on their field besides their vanguard, you are going to get four cards out of it because of the quad drive. And if they have one, then you get the five. And if they got two, then you're drawing, then you're getting five again. If they got three rear guards out there, uh, then it's six because of the three draw and the three triple drive. And GB3, very useful. Dark device, all your units get plus 2k for each face down card in your opponent's damage zone. Okay, hold overwhelm. Don't die. Four dollars on that sleeve. No way. <laughs> Get out of here. Pulled Overwhelm and pulled an SP. These boxes have been great. Just with these two, that's that's just magnificent. So worth it. Stationary Hero, Planting Maiden Ozu, Animal Clip Lesser, Talented Rhinos, Machining Tree Hopper, uh, Twilight Matter, and Machining Tardigard. I mean, if I'm gonna be greedy, because we got the card that we wanted, so kinda gotta do something for the rest of this. Uh, greedy Zoa. Be, be greedy. Be greedy, want Zoa. Uh, Grinnell, Daphne, Bad Luck Star, Silk Sleeper, Marinata, Anguish Sword, and Dangerous Horn. Uh, ripping through these. Oh, I'll stop with the new ones, but Adorable Balinese, Daphne, Talented Rhinos, Machining Tree Hopper, Machining Killer Ant, Dangerous Horn, Ah, Seeding Maiden Tierney, Double R, great card, definitely what I want to run in Asha now. Choose a card from your and discard it when the machine is placed on rear guard. Uh, guard, when this unit is placed on rear guard. When this unit is placed on guardian circle from hand, you may pay the cost you do. Choose one of your units with ranunculus. Cannot be hit. Bloom drop zone. Bind this card face up. Only it. When your unit with the same card name as this unit is placed on guardian circle, you may pay the cost you do. Choose a card with a bloom ability from your drop zone. Return it to your hand. In a perfect world, you guard with this. Then you guard with this. Don't activate its skill. Guard with the next one. Activate the skill. Get one back to your hand. So then there's one in the drop zone. Guard with it. Don't activate skill. Guard with it again. Activate the skill. So there's one back to your hand. Guard with it. Activate the skill. So you bind something else. 
or so you get something else back to your hand. Mega 10k. Uh, Lizbeth, yeah, because it's just choose a card with a bloom ability, so you can get Lizbeth back to your hand and have a 10k shield right there. Yeah, that's a great pull. That's that's a great pull. I love love those double eyes already. And of course the GR. I didn't think that I was gonna be pulling the GR. Aaron Somali, Palma Larva, Machining Leafy, Machining Bizarreness, Marinette, Anguish Sword, and a reprint of Dorcas. It looks... The other one looked so cool. This one looks kind of cute. Only the greatest creation can have Dark Face in its name. Oh, wow, Dorcas. This is... The amount of duplicates in these single R's right now. Like, there that many duplicates in the last single R batch? Elma... Silk Sleeper, Machining Princess, Reshell, Iguan, Ah, Morphosian, the Mega Colony G Guard. When this unit is placed on Guardian Circle, the number of your opponent's standing rear guards is two or less, gets plus 10k until end of battle. Great. Perfect. All needed. Oh, wrong Dark Face. <laughs> dark Face, Al Alice Cities, Alice Hides, whatever. He's an alright card, but, I mean, wrong dark face, of course. Pulled Overwhelm, want to pull Gridora. Uh, counter Blast 1 and Soul Blast 1, when the scene is placed on Vanguard or Rearguard, you may pay the cost you do. Choose a column, arrest all your opponent's rearguards in that column that cannot stand. And GB2, Vanguard or Rearguard Dark Device, during the battle of this unit attacks a Vanguard, gains 10k, and your opponent cannot intercept. That is fine, though. Here, you'll get the $4 one. <laughs> I mean, I'm happy to pull pretty much anything at this point. I mean, so long as they're not like factory error boxes and the only thing I get is crap cards. Like, just commons and rares, that's, that's it for the rest, for the next box. That'd be terrible. Planting Maiden, Ozu, Silk Sleeper, Machine Princess, Petal Witch Chihuahua, Mega Colony Battler G, Scyther Bobtail, didn't talk about this, the Honorary Professor, Perfect Guard. I don't think we talked about it. When the shooter is retired from Guardian Circle, choose any number of cards uh, with Honorary Professor in your soul. Put them back into your hand, and it can only guard Honorary Professors. Vanguard or Rear Guard Honorary Professors, but only Honorary Professors. Double R Mega Colony Machining Despot! Good pull. Man, once per turn, Counterblast 1, choose a face down card from your G Zone and turn it face up. If you have a heart card with Machining in its card name, choose the same number of your units as the number of face up cards in your G Zone with Machining in their card name and stand them. Your opponent chooses two of his or her units that are rested. For each unit you stood and they cannot stand during your opponent's next stand phase. When you're playing against Machinings, Always make sure you have two rear guards on the field for their first stride turn, because they go because uh, they could go into death spot and then you got to stun your vanguard. Make them if they want to stun your vanguard in their first stride, make them go into destroyer. Make them call the four rear guards, which would actually be calling one from hand because of the pull in the last box, the new machining stride breaker. But you know. I can work a little bit more for it. Adorable Valenings. Grinnell. Animal Clip Lesser and Vulgar Blister behind them. Approval Frigate. Breakwater Dragon and... Leslie. Okay. Two more packs left in this box. Hold Overwhelm. I, I can't complain about this box at all. Vila. Lyset. Bad Luck Star. Rachel. Iguan, Padmini, and Adherence Mutant Black Weevil. Okay, I don't know why I was calling her Rochelle before anyway. Oh well. Uh, but let's go over Weevil now. A Dark Face, perfect guard, and act drop zone. Choose two Adherence Mutant Black Weevil from your drop zone, bind them face up, draw a card. And counter charge or soul charge. So, like the heal tree, you get to do the counter charge or soul charge, but you also get to draw with this. So that's nice. It it can be done on your turn at any moment, instead of just when you G guard. So both of those cards are great. I, I, I like them both. Dark face. Run them both. That's that's just a good idea. Dragon seed spitter. 
but yeah, I don't I don't play Dark Face. <laughs> Aaron Somali, Machining Bagworm, Matrix Code Zebra, Essayist Yapoon, Immortality Professor Veyadiga, and Mini Belly. So a GR in this takes the place of a triple R, but an SP takes the place of a single R. Okay, good to know, because I did not know that. But oh well, I pulled Overwhelm. That's good enough for me. There were really a lot of doubles in this box. I don't know. I, I, I'll do the rundown of all the boxes at the end of it. But I just feel like there was an abnormal amount of reprints on those bars. Not reprints from there, but the duplicates. That's what I meant to say. There we go. I just feel like there was an amount of duplicates on that. Come on, box. Get that. Pop these packs up. All right, 12 packs left to go in this video. Dragon Seed Spitter, Matrix Code Zebra, Outstanding Mutant Promo Larva, Approval Frigate, Pearl Wilt Chihuahua, Immortality Professor Sakalga, and Bicolor Baku. Bicolor. I don't know why Bicolor. I get in my head sometimes when it comes to pronouncing them. And just switch. Bicolor Baku. Adorable Balinese, Stationary Hero, Bad Luck Star, Mega Colony Battler G, Machining Bizarreness, Body Faction Now, and Machining Snow Wing again. Good. That's, that's a good card to pull twice. Because you need... You don't need the same card. You can, you can bind any heals, but then you can do the skill twice. Aaron Somali. Whoops, Machining Princess, Talented Rhinos, Machining Bizarreness, Red Poppy Musketeer Marinetta, Cumulative Maiden Purcell, oh yeah, I talked about that one, and Machining Beat Atlas. Second Beat Atlas, okay. Fine with that. Definitely fine with that. Luna Musketeer Elma, Planting Maiden Ozu, Matrix Code Zebra, Vulgar Blister, Machining Tree Hopper, Repeated Cultivation Maiden Leslie, and Bond Protector Musketeer Ontero. Definitely happy to get the second copy of Ontero. Ah, uh, Daphne, Animal Clip Lesser, Talented Rhinos, Machining Killer Ants, Xerxian Musketeer Umbra, Cumulative Maiden Purcell, and Collective Bloom Maiden Kara. Second copy of Kara. So that's the... Oh no, Machining Bean Atlas is a double. I don't know why I thought it was a triple for some reason. Because he's good enough to be a triple and Darkface out of cities should have been a double? Yeah, probably that one. Cyclium, Musketeer Flavia, uh, Poinsettia, Flower Maiden Grinnell, Promolarva, Machine Killer Ant, Cersei Musketeer Umbra, Sitter Bobtail, and Automatism Koala. The Double R Heal Trigger, the Binding Heal Trigger, Counter Charge, Soul Charge, Heal Trigger for Great Nature. Happy to pull one of those. Uh, one more Double R. One more Triple R or GR, and an SP doesn't impede either of those. Black Rose Musketeer Vernerdi, Promotion Made in My Set, Trickle British, Machining Leafy, SAS Jalcoon, New Face Mutant Little Darkus, and Black Spear Mutant Bulg Wasp. Four packs to go, maybe? I can't, can't really tell. Uh, Stokesia, Musketeer Daphne, Machining Bagworm, Machining Princess, Marigold Musketeer Rachel, Part-Time Researcher Iguano, Featherwall Mutant Morphosian, and Honorary Professor Shavrait. There's our final double R. Happy to pull one of these at least. Choose one or more cards with the sum of their grades being grade 3 or greater from your hand and discard them. When the unit is placed on Vanguard, you may pay the cost. You do search your deck for up to two cards with Honorary Prof, in their different card names, put them into your hand and shuffle your deck. So you can grab Chavrite and Chat Noir, uh, Chat Salvage and Chat Noir, Chavrite and Chat Salvage, 
And then, uh, yeah, there you go. That's the combinations. <laughs> uh, Count of Last One, where you're a with honorary professor and its original card name, Stride, you may pay the cost of you. Search your deck for up to one grade three card, put it onto your Vanguard as a heart, shuffle your deck, and put a, if you put a card, return this card to your hand. So that puts Chat Noir as your heart for when you go into the new Chat Stride, which we went over Melu Melord, uh, Meliard, Chat Noir. And then you discard and you're able to break ride, and then you do the, the new cross ride with Shat new ish cross ride with Shat Salvage, and then you go into one of the other strides and you know you get the stride and add the break ride power and it's a second stride on that turn. Ozu, the Lice Set, Machining Leafy, Silk Sleeper, Pearl Wit Chihuahua, Sun Sun Mango, and Valkyrie Reclamation Padmini. I didn't need any more Padminis. Oh my. Happy to get the artwork. I think it's the same art as the character booster. Stationary Hero, Planting Maiden Ozu, Vulgar Blister, S.A.S. Diapun, Rachel, Mon Protector, Musketeer, and Tedo, and another GR. All the Great Nature GR! Balaul. Balaul. Well, there you go, Custy. I pulled you an SP and a GR. Yeah, Custy didn't get shafted this time. There, that's that's the money right there. That's his, that's his money's worth right there with the SP, the GR. Man. All right, let's just let's just talk about him. Bala Ur, uh, once per turn, soul blessed one. She's a face down card from G zone. Turn to face up. She's all your units in your front row until in the turn they get vanguard or rear guard. When this unit attack hits a vanguard, draw a card and plus four K for each face up card to, in your G zone. At the end of the turn, retire those rear guards. There we go. Okay, so unfortunately, no Asha then. Damn. And I think because we got a GR, no, no SP. Maybe no ZR. Probably no ZR. <laughs> I was greedy enough in asking for Overwhelm. Two GRs and three boxes, though. Okay. Stationary Hero, Cycla Cyclamon, F Musketeer, Favia, Machine and Bagworm, Animal Clip, Lesser, Mega Colony, Battery G, Artemisia, uh, Artemisia, Musketeer, Kiara, and Breakwater Dragon. Breakweather Dragon. Wow, I've been saying water this whole time, but it's weather. Last pack, last box, not gonna be Asha. Not even gonna see blue here. Luna Musketeer, Elma, Poinsettia, Flower Maiden, Grinnell, Lethargy Maiden, Silk Sleeper, Red Poppy, Musketeer, Mononetta, Machining, Tree Hopper, Sun, Sun, Mango, and Artemisia Maiden, Kiara. Time for the run. Ah, hit the camera. Time for the rundown. Kiara's... Eh, you know what? You saw the rares. Here you go. Hear them again. <laughs> Maybe not. I'm not going to do this as I thought. Overall, got a good number. Uh, mostly every rare, got a good number. Uh, I will start with this box. Ah, I hit the camera severely that time. I will start with this box. I know Professor Chavrite, Automatism, Koala, Machining, Beat Atlas, Machining, Snowwing, Collective Blooming, Maiden, Kara, and the pull of this box, Omniscience, Dragon, Balo Ord. Got something good in every single box. Artistic Ocelot. I mean, got a lot good in every single box. Carita, Cecilia, Machining Beat Atlas again, Melior, Chant Noir, Rosita, and Revision Scientist Della Belli SP. Wouldn't be anything super special unless he was, you know, SP like he is. Disappointing Dark Face, but still alright card. Black Weevil, Machining Despot, happy to find one. Tierney, Snowwing a second time, and the pull of the video Poison Sickle Mutant Deity Overwhelm! 
And uh, I gotta say, simply pulling overwhelm in these three boxes did overwhelm me with how good these pulls were. I mean, ball of oil, it's nice. Bought some boxes with a friend for once, Custy, and he didn't get shafted. Custy always gets the short end of the stick, but this time I think he got his money's worth. Uh, and there we go. And this whole fat stack, plus this one, of commons that I will have the pleasure of going through. I'm Joey. This is Card Fight Crazy. And we hope you're crazy too.